Happy Thursday, everyone. Grab that cup of coffee and sit back because today I'm treating you to something just a little bit different. I decided to go ahead and do my Halloween video for this week. And in this video, you're going to see some turning, some hollowing, some carving, painting. You're going to see leaves being made and you're gonna see a stem being carved. This video is going to have a little bit of everything, so I really hope you guys stick around to the end to see this little pumpkin come to life. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Dremel with my carbide burr. I mark these out four and a half inches and I'm just gonna make indents in here. I started sanding at 80 grit and I went through all the grits clear up to 320. Well, I want a wash. So I took some acrylic paint and diluted it with water a lot because I just basically want an orange wash because I don't want to take away from the ambrosia and stuff that's in this wood. I just kind of, I want it to be orange, but I don't want it to be orange. Oh. What I do is, I'm not gonna sand the inside of that, but I didn't want this to be one to, uh, one solid piece of wood. So I did a hollow out the inside. Whenever I do the stem, I'm just gonna glue the stem in there because it's not meant to hold anything. It was just to lighten it up. This is the top piece that I parted away from the little pumpkin and I'm using this for my stem. And all I'm doing here is just shaping it to kind of give me the idea of the size of the stem that I want to go with. Once I'm done with this, I will trim this down on the bandsaw and then I will start carving it with my Dremel. There's my stem. I'm going to lightly sand this because I want to keep that rough look from carving it. Okay, I'm going to sand it and then I will come back and glue it on and we will add some color to the stem. I have a coupon code in the video description if you're interested in Starbond. You could save yourself 15% off your Starbond order. All you have to do is enter TBeacher15. My version of a pumpkin.
I'll get some finish on there and we will call it good. For my finish, I used Waterlocks Original Satin Finish and I applied three coats of this to the entire pumpkin. For my leaves, I decided to ransack through a kindling bin. I'm telling you, if you burn wood and you have kindling and you get any of your kindling from like cabinet shops or anything like that, there's like perfect little pieces of wood that you can use for just different things. And I was able to find two square pieces that worked perfectly for these leaves. They were just the perfect thickness and the perfect size. So I used double-sided tape to stick these two pieces together so that way I was able to cut them out at the same time. Printed off a pumpkin leaf pattern that I liked and used double-sided tape on that and voila, cut them out and you'll see how this all comes together. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you like what you see so far, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. Enjoy the rest of this video. All right, guys, we made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed this little pumpkin video. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. And leave me a comment and let me know what you think of my little pumpkin. I will discuss this turn as well as glam shots, so stick around for that. I really hope you guys enjoyed my pumpkin video. I am sorry that I didn't have the opportunity to record me doing the leaves. I recorded me cutting the leaves out, but I used my Dremel for this, the vein parts of the leaves. And unfortunately, I didn't hit record on my phone. Um, so sorry about that, but it was super easy. If you know what veins and leaves look like, you just kind of trace them out and then I just use my Dremel. So I want to share this with you because I can't wait. I'm so excited to be able to share my artistic flair of a pumpkin with you. So here it is. And you could see all the ambrosia by doing that wash on there. I didn't want to cover that up because this piece has tons and tons of ambrosia in it and curliness and I, I didn't want to lose that. I wanted to hang on to all that character. So I think that's perfect doing that little wash to it. There's the bottom and I marked this as my first one because I've never made anything like this. So this is my very first pumpkin. This little guy will be available on my website. If you're interested, there will be a link in the video description for this cute little pumpkin. There's the stem that I carved. And what I did with, was is I didn't want the pumpkin being very tall. So I parted this off and then I used this top part that I parted off as my stem. These are little plant things that you get in the craft section and they're just wire with material around them and I twisted those around on a pencil to give the little curly cue. There's my leaves. And there's the back side. If you can catch. And I did a wash on those two but I added more to the top part so that way the underside was a little bit lighter just like maybe a leaf would look. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little pumpkin video and happy early Halloween. I'm not exactly sure if I have a video next week, so you'll have to stay tuned for that because um, I know my husband's birthday is the 28th of this month. So I'm thinking I might plan something a little special for him for that. So I'm not sure if I'll put a video out that week or not, We'll see. I might do a video for his birthday. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this little pumpkin. And if you're interested in this little fella, it will be on my website. All right, guys. You have a wonderful weekend. You all take care. Stay safe. God bless. Goodbye.